Welcome back to Morning Manna. Yesterday, we talked about God's call to Jonah. Today, let's look at Jonah's response. When God said, go, Jonah said no. Instead of heading towards Nineveh, he set out for Tarshish as far away as possible. In Jonah 1.3, we actually see him board a ship. Here's what it says. But Jonah rose to flee to Tarshish far from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish. And he paid the fare and went down into it to go with them to Tarshish away from the presence of the Lord. Jonah's decision to flee wasn't just an act of disobedience. It was a clear sign of this internal struggle that he had. Jonah was wrestling with his own prejudice and fear. He didn't want to extend God's mercy to people that he despised. How often do we do the same thing? Listen, I'm not a cartographer or the son of a cartographer, but I know one thing about directions. Tarshish is about as far away from Nineveh as you could get. Jonah said no when God told him to go. Jonah actually traveled about 2,500 miles in the opposite direction of where God called him to. To be honest, how often do we find ourselves thousands of miles away from where we should be? We might not be on a ship board bound for Tarshish, but we often find ways to avoid the uncomfortable tasks, the people, the places God's calling us to. We run from God's call, and it doesn't just delay the inevitable when we do that. It often leads us into even greater challenges that could have been avoided if we had just obeyed God from the beginning. Let me ask you, are you running from something that God has called you to do? What has he called you to give? Who has he called you to love? Who has he called you to serve? What step of faith has God asked you to take? Remember, no matter how far you run, no matter how far we run, we can't escape his presence or his purpose. More tomorrow.